Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's Josh here with the Backroom Crew here at RockCon 2016, and we actually found something really, really cool this year. Uh, Starship Horizons Bridge Simulator. It's an actual, um, what is it, pre-alpha still? It's alpha stage at this alpha point. Stage. Yep. Okay. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Starship Horizons is, it's an actual bridge simulator of a starship. We played it a couple times yesterday. Really, really loved that we got some footage of our, uh, of our first play group. Um, I'm here with David, the developer of the game. Now, um, when you set out to create this game, what inspired you? What made you want to make this game? Well, you know, I, I'm a child of space. You know, I grew up with uh, you know, the Apollo program and the space shuttle and everything like that, so I was a big fan of that. And of course, Star Trek. I mean, let's, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Everybody loves Star Trek. Oh, yeah, and, and just the interface alone, I mean, it has a really strong sense of Star Trek. Like, yeah, yeah. We're well, trying to basically put together a team. True. Yeah, that, that acts as the crew, the bridge crew of a starship to go on mission. And, and the way we designed it is that each person has a role to play, you know, from a flight officer, tactical officer, science officer, communications, and of course the captain. You know, they have to have the proper lean, you know, the chair. Yes. Um, but get that nice little group now. Yeah. Uh, so what, what, how long have you guys been developing Starship Horizons? Is because we just heard about it, but we did a little research last night. You guys have been around for a little bit. Yeah, we, uh, we the project officially started in October 2012. Okay. Um, was being developed casually for about a year and a half. You know, really, really kind of on the side. Right. Um, and then after that, we ramped up a little, uh, quite a bit. And uh, since about you know, mid-2014, have been really aggressively developing it. Uh, still, essentially on the side, everybody involved is uh, you know, doing this as a labor of love. Um, you know, everybody here that helps out at conventions, we're, we're doing it because we want to play this too. Right. I mean, we definitely, uh, everybody in the crew definitely wants to see this uh, roll. Speaking of rollout, what is your plans for the future? How, how are you guys trying to take this to the masses? Well, like I said, we're in alpha right now. Um, we'll be doing a brief period between the alpha and the beta where we'll go and, and add in some new functionality, take away some of the suggestions from people that participated in the alpha, uh, and then we'll go through a public beta phase. Okay. Uh, after that, uh, we'll actually go right into our Kickstarter. I will uh, be moving to push it available on Steam and make it download. Uh, so you can play it in the home. Like, you know, right now, everybody can come and play it at the conventions we're at. Right. But uh, you'll be able to play this at home in the home. Now, you guys are local to the Hampton Roads area, from what I understand. I think Newport is where you guys are stationed at. So uh, for you guys out there in the 757 area, it's a really cool local company that you can get behind. It's going to do really amazing things. Um, I. I what, I mean, we were talking there a little bit yesterday with the people that were here in developing and, uh, the Metaphorian guys who are a part of the Alpha development team, from my understanding. They were saying that, like, you can bring in your own ship design and all that. It's, it's, it's an open for modification, is basically my question. Yeah, and actually, it's, that's a great question. It's actually built from the ground up to be modded by the community. Uh, you know, the Starship Horizons universe is our universe that we've designed. Oh. I like it. It's good. Thank you. Um, no, but uh, it's designed from the ground up to be modelable, so that you know, while we have our own universe, the Starship Horizons lore and, and canon, uh, outside of that, we want the community to build Star Trek, Star Wars, Battlestar, Firefly, and go in and fight at every single one of them against every other one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, what What would be the limitations? What are your goals? Is this going to be a PC exclusive? Is this something we can download on a tablet, a console, maybe in the future? What, what's your ultimate end game? For the first game fully developed, here you go. Uh, the the fr official final release will be essentially a Windows executable to start. Okay. Uh, now, the, the way our game works, though, is that while it's a multiplayer game where you have you know a crew working together right to complete a mission, uh, there's only one executable that's actually running uh, that has to be on a Windows machine that runs your you know main view screen, like if you think of classic Trek, the big view screen in the bridge thing, uh, but that runs your, your entire ship. From there, you can connect to that from a tablet, a smartphone, a laptop, a full PC, uh, and connect the consoles. All of the consoles that you use for the different officers and different displays uh, are all just done through HTML5, a, a web browser essentially. Okay. So you can connect as many of those as possible to the environment. Uh, we set the design to allow for up to 130 to connect. 130 people? Oh, no, well, 130 displays. Oh, okay. I mean, well, it, the re where that comes from, and again, classic Trek. Uh, you know, the uh, the bridge of the Enterprise D, the next generation bridge, uh, had over 130 displays. Most of them, you know, fake Hollywood, just backlit panels. Yeah. But we're going for the real thing. 
You know, we we were playing obviously with a five man setup yesterday and we had the flight, the tactical, the science, the comms, of course the captain. So there's also room to expand. You can change up the layout of the bridge. You can instead of having like flight science as their own sort of thing, you can find it. Uh, and basically customize your bridge setup, your team, the way, at least the way we have perceived it to yeah. work better for you. Yeah, and uh, again with the community, uh, and because all of the consoles are just HTML5, it's basically designing a web page. So we can build any number of layouts and designs, whether it's merging one con station together with another one, or doing the opposite, taking, say, science and making it three displays. So you have your main workstation, like a, a loadout display of maybe what you're scanning over here, and then a third display that maybe has uh, some scientific levels and things like that. So you can actually go the other way with it, too. Now, Joe Schmo, obviously myself included, were to want to get involved with the pre-alpha, the alpha testing, and how we get alpha, 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 alpha. alpha. Uh, how would we go about reaching out to you and say, hey, we're interested in this, how would we become an alpha test, how can we help you develop the game, so maybe a little bit faster, maybe give you a little bit more different insight on it. Well, right, we're in alpha as we speak. Um, what I would say to, to everybody watching is that uh, we'll be, uh, when we launch the beta, that'll be an open beta. Uh, if you want to be involved in that, uh, just uh, go to StarshipHorizons.com or uh, like us on Facebook. You'll be able to hear when that goes live on both locations. Okay. Uh, and there's a forum community already on StarshipHorizons.com of people that are both A, playing the alpha now, but also uh, planning their own mods and their own setups and doing their own designs. Uh, so there's a whole community growing up with that as well. When do you expect the beta to drop? Uh, probably in about three to four months. Oh, so it's actually pretty close. Yeah. Well, I was thinking about a year out. So. No, the the um, the alpha right now. The um, the thing we tell everybody is the core goal of the alpha is uh, to test the, the basic structure of the entire engine. Make sure you know, the game's not crashing constantly. That you know you can actually play through scenarios. And we're testing all the core elements now. The purpose of the beta will be more to test the you know, mission balance, weapon balance, scenario balance, how ships even out, you know, the, from a playtesting standpoint. So you don't get like a super meta ship running around and just kind of flags and everything. Well, and so that it involves, you know, we really kind of work on the strategy of the game in terms of how different ships interact tactically. Oh, okay. you know. So you can have a fleet basically go out and do a couple of missions yeah. just the one ship. Yeah. So there, Again, I will say this through and through and through and through. The experience that we had with Starships Horizon yesterday and just the, the amount of work and a, the amount of achievable dreams that come from this game. Trust me, we've been wanting a game like this for how long? And you guys are actually Years. making it a reality. So we are really excited and really, really happy that we found you guys. We really, 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 really can't wait for the to drop. Uh, one final question. It's a little bit of a fun question. Kirk or Ricard? Oh, Kirk. There you go. Again, I'm Josh with the Background Crew. This is David with Starship Horizons. Keep an eye out for him because it's going to be a game-changing game here in the future. This right here was probably going to change a lot of the way we look at the way multiplayer games are going to be built. So, again, from the Background Crew, I'm Josh. Here with Starship Horizons creator David, and we'll catch you on the next one.